Okay, so I'm going to show you this usually works better in the car. This is a leak down tester. What that does is that will tell you if the intake valve or the exhaust valve is leaking or you're getting blow by through the rings. So what this does is it puts air into the engine and then if the exhaust or intake valve is not seated, give me that head. On the valve, if the valve is gummed up under the seat or if the valve is burnt or warped and isn't seating completely to the bottom, then it's going to leak air out of there or leak air out of here. <clears throat> and then the um, rings, you can hear it in the crankcase. So what you do is you set your gauge with your air hose. to 100 PSI. And then you plug your hose in and I got a question for you when you're ready. So you plug your hose in And then you plug in, you have to have the engine on top dead center with the intake valve. Well, okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this really fast a different way that I just thought of. Because on these little engines, it's hard to um, Hard to keep the engine from rotating around. And I want to show you this test accurately so that you know when your intake and exhaust valve is leaking. So I popped the rocker arms off. Now the intake valve and the exhaust valve are fully up. There's nothing pushing on them. Now we're gonna thread the hose. The hose has an O-ring at the bottom. You don't wanna thread it in too hard because it'll smash the O-ring out and it'll leak right from that spot. Hundred psi is a lot of a lot of psi too. You it, you're going to have a little bit of leakage. Okay, so we have our one gauge set at a hundred, which you can move this knob and get it exactly. And then it's going to push the piston down into the bore because there's nothing on the crank case to hold the piston. So I plug it in slowly, and as you can see right here, there's a zero on the gauge, and it's just off the zero, and so I like to put my ear, I hear nothing, and I hear a tiny bit there, and then if we open the crankcase, I can hear it coming out of the crankcase more than I can anywhere else. So that means that the air is getting by the piston ring, but the valves, this exhaust valve is leaking a little bit. And it's always the exhaust valve because the exhaust valve gets hot. Do you want to tap on that to show them that? I'll hold this. I need a hammer. So he's going to tap on that valve to show you. That's letting air out. That noise is letting air out. Sometimes you can reseat a valve in a big car by tapping on it like that. Um, 
I mean, it would reseat, but it's not going to last long. It really probably need, would need to be lapped if it was leaking. So the conclusion is this motor's not too bad. I mean, not too bad, but, you know, I always lap valves just for the hell of it after about, about six races. Okay, there's that. Okay, now we're going to get set up to do timing. Let's just go straight into timing. Okay, I'm gonna need Jake's help. PDC for leak down sensor. For leak down. That's what we're covering all the we put through it. Yeah, but okay, so we had a question. Somebody says, should you be a top dead center? Yes, we should be a top dead center. The problem is with these little motors, it 100 psi in your automobile has to spin eight cylinders. 100 psi in here is spinning this little engine, and without having the, um, without having something on the gearbox or something holding the crank at top dead center, it's always going to spin to the bottom. But that's fine. We took the pressure off of the valves from the rocker arms, so that's like. It's like being at top dead center. It doesn't matter as long as you're, um, you know that the valves are sealing. 